Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to copy multiple objects to a set of points with individual control over the distribution. In a new scene, let's start off with creating a bunch of platonic solids. I'll choose tetrahedron, cube, and a icosahedron. And we're using the merge packed node to not only merge them, but also get the name attribute based on the input names. This attribute can also be used in copy to points where we activate a piece attribute name and pack and instantiate it. I want to disable the transform based on target point orientations because we're just using a simple grid without any of those attributes. Let's make the grid a bit bigger. And at the moment, all three objects are copied to each point. And to change that, we can use an attribute from pieces node, which expects a point cloud, but also the pieces on the second input. Now, when you connect this to the second input of the copy to points, you see now individual objects on these points. And there are various modes to change the variant. Let's uh, just create a color node to support this by getting random colors from the name attribute, which I think is a bit clearer or easier to see. So back to the attribute from pieces node, we can now choose uh, various uh, kinds of distributions such as patches with uh, different options and there's noise there are, is a random option, and this random option not only allows uniform distribution, but also piece weights, where you can just click on autofill pieces, and here you find your name attribute again, platonic one, two, and three, now have individual controls for their weights. When we go to the copy to points node, we see the name attribute showing up again and we can prepare this uh, name for the usd context by renaming it to from asterisk which is the current name to something like solids slash asterisk if you set the class to point as well you will get solids slash platonic two and so on now let's append a null node and call it out. And when we now switch over to the Solaris context, we can use the SOP import node to read in that geometry. And it will already use the name attribute to set up the hierarchy. So let's use the SOP path called out. You can zoom out a little to see basically the same geometry again. We will set a layer safe path and name it something like solids.usd. And more importantly, we want to have a look here on the hierarchy. Currently, the primitive is called SOP import based on the node name. So let's just change it to something like solids again. And underneath, you will now find all the platonic objects listed individually. Now to change this, we go to the primitive definition and set the packed primitives to point instancer. So that way you get three different point instances for each type of object. Thank you for watching.